Hi everyone and welcome back to my Zack and Wiki walkthrough. I'd like to show you a little fun fact. Come over here. Come on, really close above the TV here. See those lights? Those are the lights of the sensor bar on top of your TV if you have a Wii. So if you ever wondered how the Wii remote could tell where its positions were, it's because of those infrared lights that you can not normally see during gameplay, or I should say with your normal eyes. Without further ado, let's start King of the Jungle! Woo! Why must there be loading screens? I miss the days of the cartridges. They are instant load. Ooh, we're here. <laughs> got a little intro screen, got some fire. That's looking pretty hot there. I don't know why there's fire there. Ding! Ooh, we got a monkey dude right up there. He's scratching his golden head for some reason. I don't know how he could get any itch through that golden head, but whatever. It's watching us. It's definitely watching us. Oh no! Please don't throw that rock, Zack! Why would you throw the rock? No! Ah! Monkey butt! Oh, it ran away. I, I guess that was a good thing. Woohoo! Way to send them packing, Zack! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What the? Oh my god! It's a giant rock! Okay, well luckily it missed us. <laughs> Alright, here's our area of the game. As you can see the camera adjusting it for the dark inside caves, that is definitely going to come in handy for this part, the auto adjust. Usually that works against me, but it's going to work well in this part. Okay, what you want to do is first go to the centipede, hello little centipede, ding 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 ding, and then change it into a saw, and look at that, we've got a centa saw. By the way, what's in these pots? I forgot what's in these pots. There's got to be something in these. And what's in this one? Yeah, there's a, some pirate booty right here. Not the girl kind. <laughs> and then we go over to... Oh my goodness! Look, he looks angry! He looks pretty ticked off! I just said that! If we get close, he's liable to go ape on us! But then again, he's just a beast. We could probably find something to drive him off. Okay, see this uh, this thing right here? This statue here? Well, this, if you take a torch past this thing, it'll blow It'll blow your torch out. So go over here and go like this. Ding, 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 ding. And then he gets ticked off and he'll knock over this pot. At least I think he will. Try it again. Try the ding, ding, ding. Okay, come on, knock over that pot already. Uh, are you going to knock it over? Yes, there we go. Yeah! And the pot covers the snake head thingy, and that's the easiest way to do it. You can chuck a pot up there yourself, but that's just the easiest way. And masturbate the saw! <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> One more to go. Yes, you have to saw through these bars. Oh, yeah, feeling good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the best item in the game. Alrighty. I'll take this wooden board thingy here. Yep, that is the board. It is actually more like a stick because it's round. Then go over back here to the fire. Yes, you want to go back to the fire and uh, touch, I mean, click on the fire and move it till you get that sizzling sound. Then hold the Wii remote there until the stick starts on fire. It takes quite a while and it's annoying. Alright! Woo! We've got a torch! Woo! We are cavemen! And now we're going deep inside the cave, which will make him notice that we're going inside. So he'll reposition himself to protect the treasure chest, but we're not going up there just yet, because, you know, he'll kind of kill us at the moment. Well, actually, only if you get close to him. Okay, click on this thing right here, then click on the statue. You'll put the torch in there, which will illuminate the area quite nicely, I must say, and then click on this back wall here. This happens to be a Tetris-like puzzle here. Click on the piece that you want to pick up, and then rotate it, and then click it in the spot that you want it to go. And then it'll push the block in the upper level that's supposedly holding the water back. I don't know, these must be really waterproof blocks. Maybe they're made out of rubber or something. And put them into place just like that. And uh, there's one spare piece. Yes, there is supposed to be a spare piece. That is supposed to happen. It's supposed to trick you, but obviously... You can tell which pieces are the right ones, and stick the last one in the hole, that's what she said. And drain the water out to fill the lake over here. Woo! Actually, it's more like an underground pond, or stream, or whatever. 
Now you want to go inside the pond over here and swim through it just like so and get out on this side and then you'll see some bats on the ceiling. Click a bat and then the bat will fly down and surround you. Oh, <laughs> I was talking too much. Click on another bat then and uh, change it into a bat brella. Yes, this is a bat brella. Woohoo! Thank you. And go back through here. And uh, you can go through the other side of the cave, but uh, it, I don't see really any purpose to it, honestly. Uh, so now you want to click on the torch here. Uh, I should say click on this and then grab the torch. Yeah, you need the torch again, and I'll show you why. I'm going to take you back up top where the big guy is, where Mr. King Kong, Donkey Kong imitation is. And there he is right over here, and then you'll automatically walk over there with the torch. It'll scare the heck out of him, and he'll run away. He'll grab the treasure chest, and then he'll run away, just like that. And then you want to... Uh, I'm going to see where he is. Okay, he went down there just as planned. See where he put the treasure chest? Okay, back we go. We do not need the treasure chest right now, but we do need that bat brella, and I'll, and I'll show you why in just a second. And we're going to click our way back down here. Oh, in case you didn't realize... Oh, wait, I did say it before. Yes, the boss stages are indeed puzzles as well. Yoo-hoo! Oops, I did not mean to drop the bat brella. And going up the stairs, and around the corner. Oh, by the way, you can pick these radishes and you'll get some coinage. <laughs> Just like so, yeah. And go around here. The treasure chest was up here, but it is no longer there. So where is the treasure chest? As you've seen, he placed it right on that very end. Let's get some more pirate booty. <laughs> ah, let's get some Just in case we need to get some oracle dolls or something like that. And then you click on this thing right here. And remember how to switch the crank around back on uh, the three colossi? Yes, you can switch the umbrella around. And now you've got the hook to end. See that? Now click on the rope, and you'll hook yourself on it, and slide down! Woo! Ow! Well, it worked at least. <laughs> that is what you are supposed to do. Woo! And uh, grab that umbrella once again. Yay! And then ding-a-ding this chest. Oh my god, what's going on? Ah, he noticed me! Oh my god, it's falling apart! Ah! We're falling! Grab the umbrella! And use the two buttons to turn it- Oh shoot, flip it around! Flip it around! Use the two button to turn it into a parasol and there we go! Woo! We are safe! And this time I'm not going to drop the umbrella! And obviously, the only thing we have left to do is ding-a-ding -ding the chest open. And that will end this level. Woo! Thank you. That is it for this part. Well, actually, I'll show you the statistics screen and whatnot, if I can. Whoa, it's a treasure map! What could this treasure map be? Hold on, a little cutscene. I'll show the cutscene in the next part. See you. Oh, hee hee, it looks like we're one step close to the legendary ship. Okay, see you guys in the next part.